I'm Vinu Keller with Vinu Inspires. Through the years of school, I was bullied. You know, I was bullied about my skin color. I was bullied about my nationality. I was bullied because, you know, being Indian descent, I was more hairy than people, you know, like anything a child can pick on that's different from them, they would use it against me. It just led to growing up feeling suicidal. Like, why am I here? I don't want to be here anymore. The pain, external pain was so deep. I would, tried to take my life when I was 15. I was going to do it with pills and someone um, stopped me. And it was a wake up call. You know, I was put in a psychiatric care hospital where I learned how to cut. So I, I used to cut. Um, I would scratch myself until I bled because the pain for me, the pain was so intense inside that if I could feel it on the outside, it would, it would numb that pain inside. It would make it not so intense. Like I literally would feel my heart hurt. I would have chest pains and just cause I was aching. I was aching for somebody to see me, to hear me, to believe in me because I didn't, you know, I didn't like myself. Um, I didn't know what that was like. I didn't, self-esteem, what's that? Self-worth, what's that? I was 34, you know? I mean, from the time you're six to the time I'm 34, you know, I did a lot of self-sabotage. Um, I got into bad relationships. I got into abusive relationships because when you don't think you're worth it, it doesn't matter. And finally, I went to a seminar. Um, somebody told me that you should come see Tony Robbins. And I didn't know who he was. Uh, I made every excuse not to go. I ended up there as fate would have it and it changed my life. It was there I heard the words that he said is that you get a choice in life. You can choose to say that's my story because it is my story that I share and stay in it and say, poor me, why did this happen? And go back to the why of something that you can't change. Or you can look at what do I want? what is possible and how can I create that? And it was that moment I left that four day seminar and I realized that I'm the only one standing in my way. And so now I teach that because if I can say one life through my story to say, you know what, you get to choose, it's your choice. Staying in that story does not serve you. Creating the life of abundance will. And that's where I am today. I learned that we all go through our own experience to become who we want to be. I would not be able to coach kids, teenagers. I would not be invited to come speak if I hadn't walked through the shoes of what these kids are going through right now. How many of these kids today are being bullied and they don't know why and they're searching for the why? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And it has nothing to do with them. It's about the bully. The bully feels insignificant, so they have to make you feel insignificant so they can make themselves feel better because they're searching for answers too. I want people to know there's people out there that have gone through it, and if it's not my story you resonate, there's somebody else's story you resonate with, and how did they get through it? And what are the tools they use to get through it? You have to find out what resonates with you to help you go forward in your life. You know, don't reinvent the wheel. Find us, connect with us, see our values, see what we did so we can help you, you know, cut the learning curve and keep going forward. What people see or say about you does not define you. You have to define you. We're in a world that's so crazy with social media. Like, thank God we didn't have that when I was growing up. I don't know what I would have done. You know, I mean, when I got home, the bullying stopped until I looked in the mirror and I did my own bullying, but now you can't get away with it. It's on social media, you know, you open your phone and it's there. And so people have to start believing in themselves. Understand it's nothing to do with you. It's all about them. When they are bullying you and they're picking on you, you have to realize what's, what's their why for that? What's their outcome in that? Is it to hurt you? Because that's really not their outcome. Their outcome is to make them feel better. So why don't you ask yourself what has to happen for them to feel better without them taking anything away from you? I would go talk to an adult, you know, find somebody like, for me, I didn't feel like I had an adult, you know, but now this is so out there. There are so many resources now. Find a teacher, find a friend's parent, 
you know, if you can't go to your parent. You need help so you learn not to allow them to take anything else from you because that's what they do.